what does it feel like to be at a state championship in your favorite game? Oh my gosh, it's it's surreal. I, I never thought I would be here. It's It's been really fun so far and we haven't even started. What's it like having an esports team at your school and on campus? It feels really good because being myself, not being able to do as many sports as I want, wanted to, having esports was really inclusive for me. It was just really fun and I got to meet a lot of close friends that I have now. What advice do you have for parents whose kids are thinking about joining an esports team? At first I would have said, don't do that, that's ridiculous. But since I've been a part of it and, and seeing these kids and how they're doing, I would say just let them do what they want to do and the friendships that they made and, and the talent they each one of them has, they're all totally different and it all just meshes well together. My name is Kevin Buckler. I'm the uh, director of esports here at California State University, Dominguez Hills. And tell us about the esports program here and the value that it brings to the students and to the university. Sure, and we do like to say a lot of the times that the student success is our success. So everything that we do is revolving around that. Um, we founded our program on five pillars, which are the academics and research, career development, uh, community engagement, competition, and entertainment. So everything we do fits into that, and that directly gives back to the students. The kids today did awesome. Your students were fantastic at staffing the event. What's this experience like for them? Yeah, and that's the number one thing we like to do with these types of events is get students involved. So for broadcast, for example, it was all really student run. We had full time there for support, but ultimately students were running a lot of what happened today. And that's a big part of what we do and giving those hands on experiences, uh, things that can help them build up that resume and get work experience that is applicable to what they want to do. Or maybe it's not. And it's a pivot that they'd like to make and uh, kind of explore a new opportunity. Tell us a little bit about why esports is important to CSU Dominguez Hills. When I first developed this model and had this vision for what we wanted to do here, for me, esports is a strategy, not an outcome. So the goal of esports is how do we help students engage in gaming so we're meeting them where they are, but then develop the skills, which I call the transferable assets, that will help them better manage the rigors of the university curriculum here at the campus. But beyond that, we're trying to improve the career trajectory of students so that the functional skills that they are picking up here also will serve them well in the job market because there are graduates who are here who are now flying off the shelf where everybody's spending two and three and four months trying to find a job post-graduation. Our folk are being recruited to come because they have the skills that employers are looking for. If you want to contribute to the intellectual and personal growth and development of your child, one of the pathways to do that is through Right, NACEP and eSports right here in your California State University, Dominguez Hills. We just won the gold division CIF champion for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. All right, how's that feel? It felt amazing. That team was incredible and beating them was, it was just an awesome feeling because they're such a great team. What kind of life skills do you see these kids developing in their eSports program? Well, like uh, I believe Justin said, right, like family, right? We're a tight-knit family. We're all about community. We're always together. And I think just being, finding a brotherhood or sisterhood and just being together, I think that's going to uh, play a huge impact on their lives moving forward. Hi, my name is Emmy Flores, and I'm the super superintendent of schools for the West Colina Unified School District. Very proud superintendent, I must say. What do you see as the benefit of having an esports program in your schools? So as a school district, we really want to look at our students' passion and um, develop programs that really help maximize their potential. And we know that eSports is something that children feel very passionate about. It's a multi-billion multi dollar industry. And so we hope that if we build it, that they will come and they sure have. This is our year number one. And to be CIF champs is, uh, I have goosebumps, it's unbelievable. I'm Joe Magallanes. I'm the current vice president of our wonderful West Covina School Board. And I'm just, I'm just, shocked and happy to be here. This is an incredible day for our, for our team and for our district together. It's awesome. Yeah, fantastic. And you? Hi, I'm Charles Park, Principal of West Covina High School. Okay. How do you feel about your players right now? Oh, we're so excited. Like, so proud of them. It's incredible. I mean, it was just a year and a half ago that we started the team. And to be here is just a, a dream. So. And how about career opportunities in esports? What do you see there? Oh, I think that's the new frontier. I think um, we're working as a school district, we're working on new classes potentially, a lot of things that we're doing. But our eSports lab is really the hub 
could you just give a little bit of advice if, if there's a school board and they're not sure about eSports or they have concerns about kids gaming too much and all that, what would you say to them as far as the benefit? So any district out there where if you're unsure that maybe eSports is just games and that they're just fooling around, they're not. They're building teams, they're uh, building that camaraderie and it's, it's something that is the future of schooling. It, it's something we should actually bring to any district. It, it brings so much to the kids. And, not, not just the socialization, but like I said, the teamwork and the camaraderie that they build is incredible. My name is James Wood, and I'm the NACEF Scholastic Tournament Administrator. My main job is the competition manager for the CIF Esports Initiative. So for schools that are brand new, how hard is it to get started and compete in something like a CIF tournament? It's not difficult at all. It is really simple in the sense of like you need passionate kids, you need a supportive staff, and you need kids there that want to represent their school and esports gives them a way to represent their school in a way that nothing else does. I think the best thing about esports is how student-centric it is and how inclusive it is and how there's so many different connections that can be built here. Looking at the behind the scenes of the team that ran this, there are so many skills that translate beyond just the kids playing the game. The team running this was exceptional and you've got kids that are focusing on broadcasting. We had somebody in there who was live editing uh, highlight reels for us. We had a caster there who was responsible for the crowd reactions. We had people doing lighting and audio and video feeds. And there are so many different components that built into this event that it couldn't happen without the students, both the collegiate and the high school. My name is Terry Nguyen. I am the eSports advisor at La Quinta High School, and we just won our 2024 League of Legends Championship. What kind of skills are these kids developing while they're doing esports? Um, I would say one of the biggest skills that they're developing is their communication skills, and then they're also their time management. So these are uh, um, our team this year is like all seniors, and so um, I've actually had a lot of them as students. So these are um, driven students in APs in other sports, and yet they take out the time to practice, um, to play. Um, and I think they have to really learn how to manage over the past two, three years on how to incorporate time into their day to play the game. What do you see as the benefit for the kids of being part of esports while they're in high school? I think it's such a niche area of like, it's a place where everybody has at least played a video game and there is just a commonality of this like common area of interest, but I think most of them um, have a specific game that they just gravitate to and so that's a great place to find other like-minded students um, who also enjoy that. Chris Fahey, Director of Corporate Sponsorship and Oversee Esports for the California Interscholastic, Interscholastic Federation. What's the benefit of working with NACEF in this esports initiative? I mean, I think the biggest thing is our missions are very much aligned, right? At the end of the day, it's educationally based. That's the focus. It's not for profit, it's not for whatever, it's educationally based. And I think at the end of the day, you know, the CIF brings the competition side, NASIF brings the education side. I think it's a really good marriage, so to speak. Um, and it gives our schools a platform to really take esports as far as they want to do it. If, it, if they want to just compete, great. If they want to compete and build curriculum, awesome. That's even better. So I think, uh, you know, it's been great working with NASIF and, and we're having a good time. What kind of skills do you see them developing? Um, confidence and just uh, communication abilities you know I have kids that come in and won't say two words on the first day then by the end of the third day they're already issuing commands or more you know they're they're taking initiative and being a little bit more assertive with other people and knowing how to you know meld with other people so I think to see these kids have an outlet to not only have fun and with the things that they enjoy but to use that to develop skills that are going to help them after high school to, as an educator you know, it, 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 I couldn't ask for anything more. My name is Frankie Caldera. I'm the school board president for Lompoc Unified School District. And yeah, I'm just here supporting our team. What do you think about having Rocket League and esports at the high school? It is something that um, I'm a, a gamer myself. I'm not very good, but it's very supportive and uh, being able to talk about esports in general and how there is a progression in the future, right? They have potential careers and um, game design or just esports in general. and bringing this to our campuses is, is very exciting. What do you see as some of the benefits that the kids are experiencing kind of in day-to-day -day from being in esports? Uh, yeah, one, uh, the teamwork. Another is the 
kind of breaking the stigma. Um, I think that is a groundbreaking thing that this generation of students is doing because my generation, we grew up playing uh, video games and it was bad, right? Um, now they're playing video games for a purpose and, and it's very exciting to just see that and I'm so proud of them. Someone is trying to start up eSports and they're against it. What would your advice be to them as to reasons to consider it? This is the future. Um, I know that sounds kind of naive and, and uh, very broad, but it is. Uh, this is, the esports is a big thing, and there's a lot of money going into it and a lot of um, careers being made from it. So if you want to do what's best for your students, you need to offer this to them.